do you see this Amazon thing as being like a viable business or is this like a scam like everyone says it is? To have success faster, go slower. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Kale. I got my man Jacob on today. Jacob has been in the program, the VIP program for a while now and he is doing great. We're, we're, we're right there, I feel like we're right on the cusp. So Jacob, what's up man? You wanna say hi to the people? Not much man, just freezing out here in Minnesota. <laughs> freezing out here in Minnesota. I gotta get this out of the way for all of these new nine university reviews we're doing. Um, didn't pay you to be here today, did I? Besides being late to the meeting, I didn't I didn't pay you, did I? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> unfortunately, no. So these are your actual opinions and I'm not extorting you. Correct. <laughs> Good. So that's what we want. We just want honesty, guys. We're trying to give you an honest opinion from people who have been in the program for a little bit and have experienced it. Jacob is actually like number four you're like, your, your badge of honor is he's the number four most active person in our VIP group here within Nine University. So he's helping and communicating and, and contributing to the community. So I just wanted to bring him on to get his thoughts on the program. So the people that are watching this, man, they, um, they're probably on the, on the fence. Do Amazon, don't do Amazon. Do Nine University, don't do Nine University. What do you think? What should they do? I mean, you got to be ready for it if you want to do it. I still got a lot to learn. I knew it wasn't going to be a, a get rich quick thing, but I do think it'll be a get rich in the long term thing. Uh, <laughs> that's why I did it. I'm, I'm on my first product that I launched in July. My sales kind of plummeted because I ran out of stock right before Black Friday. Dang, terrible uh, time. Yeah, I know you say don't run out of stock, don't run out of stock, but I did because I hesitated on reordering, but that's behind me now. We're back in stock, so we're trying to get those numbers back up. And um, yeah, number four in the Facebook group. I think the group has been, that's been my biggest asset. I probably haven't taken advantage of the live streams as much as I could have just because they tend to happen where in my other job, I'm, I have a freelance schedule. So I just, it's never set in stone. I got kids I'm chasing around. So a lot of times it's hard for me to make those. So I kind of make up for that by spending a lot of time in the Facebook groups, asking questions. And I'll actually learn a lot by helping people answer questions that I don't necessarily know, but then I'll go find the answer. Hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. And it's helping like people obviously are loving it and you're, you're helping. So I want to like, thank you for that. That's honestly amazing. Um, if you had advice for people, I don't know, that are just getting started, how did, so you got to about $4,000 a month. Like you said, you know, if you wouldn't have ran out of stock, we'd probably be a lot higher, but how did you, how'd you do it? How'd you get to this point? I followed the course. I did my product research I, and I made some mistakes on this product. I'm not making as much as I want. We're almost to the point where it's going to be profitable, but I know what those mistakes are. I won't make them again on my second product, but kind of what I did is I, I launched the product. Um, I had good photography. I had a great listing and I got a, for velocity. I just got people to buy it. I paid them back. Not for reviews. I just got tons of people to buy it. Mm -hmm. Um, then, um, th then I kind of started working on my review program, got those up, started PPC. Um, and that's kind of where I've been breaking even is my PPC has been costing me, you know, just as much in PPC to get the sales, but I, I am in a little bit more of a competitive market than I would recommend for somebody who's just starting. So hopefully I can rise to the top a couple of those pages and turn this around. Yeah. We were talking before we got on the recording that your idea is to kind of take these things you've learned about, you know, markets and, and overall which product to get on your second product right you think you're going to do even better than the next one yeah i think i think one of the biggest things i learned is the the seven seven is an amazing tool but it's not the gospel like once you get that seven seven you've got to be like all right i i need to find maybe 10 other keyword combos that are also seven seven that i can sell this product on i yeah. think my my problem was that you know i found one and i ran with it and didn't do enough deep research and you guys you guys tell us to do that, but uh, it just didn't hit home hard, and, hard enough with me because I was just too eager, I think, to get a product going. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But don't go too fast. Don't go too fast, I guess, is my, my main advice. <laughs> no, that's good. That's great advice. And that, that's probably advice I should have taken at the beginning, too. My fir our first ones, you know, made mistakes and learned from them and went from there. And it's not always the first one that you hit a home run on. But what about the business model as a whole, the program as a whole? Do you see this Amazon thing as being like a viable business or is this like a scam like everyone says it is? Yeah. No, I, th I think it's a viable business. I think the people who call it a scam maybe expect to just get it, this, ha this process handed to them. And you really have to, I mean, it was like going back to school, man. You have to teach yourself and you have to, you have to watch all the videos. You have to read as much as you can, get inspiring entrepreneurial business books and read those. Just You have to kind of immerse yourself in 
learning how to be a marketer and a, and a salesman in the e-commerce world. And the course will help you do that. It's just like going to college. You can spend a lot of money and go to college and show up to class, but not do the coursework and you're going to fail. You're going to flunk out of college and you won't get a good job because people who, who did pay attention and did get good test scores are going to, are going to get that job because they know more than you. Wow. That's one of the best things I've ever heard. I mean, that's a great analogy. We call it nine university for a reason, right? It's kind of like going back to school. And like you said, the people that are, that are complaining are probably the ones that didn't show up for class or got drunk and yeah. didn't actually pay attention. Like you said, it takes knowledge. It takes you actually inputting that knowledge into your brain. Talk about that. Like the difference between an Amazon business and like being a freelancer with your time. Oh man. I mean, I get like, I'll shoot a commercial and it, it's 10, 12 hour days, 14 hour days. And the pre-production time before you shoot that commercial, a lot of time, I'll, well, then a lot of time that, that prep time is unpaid. And I, I, I still love doing it. Um, I just want to do less of it and maybe be able to pick projects that are cooler and not. Uh, I'm trying to think of, okay, so let's switch it up. If you had, you've been in this program for a, for a little bit, you're kind of one of our, our most active people. What would you say to someone just starting like a quick hack to have success faster? To have success faster, go slower in the beginning. Ooh, wise words. Keep going. Um, when you're picking your product, I feel like I've got all these other processes down pretty well, maybe with the exception of PPC, because that is a wild animal. And there's so many, I mean, once you start digging into it and going online and joining other Facebook groups, there's so many different strategies. Hmm. It's hard as a new person, it's hard to understand like, well, why would this one, why is one person saying to do it this way? And one person saying to do it this way? What is really the right way? And I don't know if there necessarily is a one right way. Probably not. Yeah. There's, there's just different methods and some of them, a lot of them, a lot of the different methods I think work really well. I don't know. Someone is, someone is working like you, someone's freelancing, someone has a nine to five job, they're trading their time for money and they're, yeah. on, they're on the fence of joining um, 9U or VIP or Elite, any of these programs. And I don't know, something's holding them back. What, like, what would you say to those people? I don't know. Um, it's, if you're on the fence, what I would say is it's, it's, if you think you can do it, it's extremely possible. I haven't seen the great riches yet, but I, I know I will if I keep at it because I'm seeing so other many people do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? it's, it's so true. I love how it's, it's real. Like I don't want these, I don't want it to seem like it's a big, we've never tried to make it seem like it's a get rich quick scheme. And if we've come off that way, I, I apologize to anyone. Like, I love how you're saying like, look, like you're starting a real business. There are ups and downs. Um, you come into this and you may not know exactly how much work it's going to be or what obstacles you're going to hit. But if you get through them at the end of the day, that's when you're going to be successful. And I feel like and there's, a, there's a lot of people to help you when you do hit those obstacles. Um, exactly. And that's probably why I'm the number four Facebook user. <laughs> it's because I'm on there all the time. Um, it's probably actually been somewhat of a bad thing too because i've spent too spend too much time on the damn facebook page then <laughs> then maybe optimizing my ppc campaigns or something but no it's good it's a good thing um because like i was telling you before i learn by helping yeah and um, you are helping you're having a huge impact yeah. so that's why we wanted to have you on man it's great any last these people their attention spans i'm telling you they're not great you got any last right. word, last words for the people <laughs> i don't know man uh if you think you can do it, you can, because there's a lot of other people that are. That's Plain perfect. simple. We might just move that to the front of the front <laughs> of the interview, and that's that's the summary. If you think you can do it, you can. If you think you can't do it, you can't. It goes yeah. it goes both ways, guys. It's all about belief. The only people that I bring on this channel are people that kind of believe, right? Because what's the point of adding to the to the negative Nancys of the world who say, "Oh, you can't do this, you can't do X, you can't do Z." There's enough of that going around, okay? that's that's not helpful what we need is people like jacob who are encouraging others who are helping others who are putting their their uh, money where their mouth is honestly and they're actually doing the work so super super thankful for you man thanks for jumping on if you guys have any questions or comments concerns violent reactions put them below subscribe to the channel we're bringing out more of this stuff all the time we love you guys thank you guys for being here see you guys soon peace